know, I was I was thinking about somebody, and I don't really want to be on camera right now because I cut all my hair off, and I didn't put a scarf on or nothing, and I don't really care for weeds. I'm gonna have to wear a weed because I have to renew my driver's license, and they don't let you wear a scarf or a hat. And I don't think I I don't know I might get wear my hair like this. It's not that bad. It's just a little um. <coughs> it's the fade up. <coughs> but <coughs> I don't want to be on camera right now, so I got the camera turned around. I was thinking about uh I was looking at this person on TV and they seem upset that somebody don't want to be, you know, in a social circle. And I feel I feel that way sometimes. I do I feel I feel alone and I feel out scared. And, and I feel like, why they don't want to be my friend? But I pretend like I don't care. I do. I pretend like I don't care. And I go I go to movies. I go to ball games. I go to uh, baby showers and graduations. And I go to uh, marathons. And I, you know, I go power shopping to get my mind off of stuff. And, and then when you see that person again, you say, oh, hey, yeah, I remember when we had met, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, or whatever. You know, maybe it'd be nice to reconnect. Maybe we can have coffee. I still feel the same way. Maybe we can have coffee. You know, we're both older now. Maybe we can have coffee. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I was just wondering. I was just thinking about that. I'm just thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? I know if I had, if I thought, if several people, I thought I could meet them, I probably would just go and, and try to meet them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I would just go and, like, they got a writing meetup um, this week. I would go to the writing meetup, grab some refreshments, grab some coffee. They'll give me on video. I'm on video. Um, online at this meetup, at this filmmaker's meetup. Um, it's not a writing, it's a filmmaker's meetup. And I'm on video. I'm, you know, just chilling and kicking back. And then what I probably do is say, you know what? I mean, I'm in the area. I thought about you. And I used to want to spend time with you, but you weren't interested. Can we have a coffee? I'm in town. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, that's how we do. We've grown, we older now. We're settled. Whatever, 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 whatever. You know. I, I say, you know, it's obvious that it really bothered me that we couldn't be together. I, I would like to know was it just was it me or was it just I noticed I noticed that you really don't have a lot of girls that you you know click with. I don't see you with no road dog or nothing. You know, I will I wouldn't take it too personal because I'm watching these people and I don't never see that person with no road dog. You know what I'm saying? You know the person that you always meet for coffee after your lunch walk. You go walk in till one and then you both grab a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? The person that's always at the pot look with you, the person that you always you know what I'm saying? Make a quick run down to New Orleans with to grab some shrimp pasta and a daiquiri. You know what I'm saying? Your road dog, your real road dog. I've never seen them with a road dog. I wouldn't take that too personal. But I would invite them to call and say, you know, I never see you chilling and kicking it with nobody. And I always really, 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 really want to hang out with you. If we can't be friends, can you tell me your secret? Can you tell me your secret? Why you don't have no road dog? I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she real close to her mom or something. You know what I'm saying? She come across to me as a fabulous person. Hard working, talented, shrewd. You know what I'm saying? Wise. Strong, powerful. Come across to me as a very hard worker. Maybe she has something inside with her, with her mom that make her don't really want to fucking be bothered about with nobody at all. 
you know, the bitch ain't need dick, she probably wouldn't be with no man. That's the only thing we know about her. That when a bitch wanna push, she go and jump on somebody's dick. Other than that, she don't wanna be bothered. You know, but I go and say, hey, huh, honey, I'm in town, I'm chilling. I'm at the meet up down here, trying to connect, network and stuff. I would love to have coffee. I have coffee, which I see you and talk. I'm trying to get that 20 roll. I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna disturb you. Might have to run home and do or something, so I ain't wanna disturb you. But I wanted to let you know. I, I decided to call you and let you know. <laughs> this is I was in town. I, I want to meet up. I want to talk to you. It's, it fascinates me how you're so fulfilled with just your family and your life. That's what I would do. And she said, like, "Bitch, if you gonna get your black ugly ass and fuck up out my face, talk, talk about some fucking coffee." Tell my fucking call. I I will. I'm gonna call all oh, my fucking body going. So, so at least I tried, but that's what I would do. I would. I'm gonna say that's what I would say. Because you love. Is it anybody I want? I'm supposed to have lunch with with chick. I'm supposed to have lunch with chick. I don't think we have nothing in common. But she real cool though. I'm supposed to have lunch. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind connecting and having fun and enjoying different kind of people. You know? I, I always had a road dog all my life. Maybe if I would have had a different kind of fan, but we all different people, you know. Some people have a road dog, some people don't, but I always have a road dog all my life. I always had that, that person, you know what I'm saying? That you always see together. You always see these two bitches, they together. You know what I'm saying? There, there's nothing, they may not be gay, but when you always see these two bitches, they together. You know, but I, I always had a road dog all my life. I don't know why. I think I just met somebody, we became friends, and we always stay friends. And I'm, when I say that, I mean, my social life ain't the best. So, we really, we, when we see each other, we you know, run up to each other and hug each other, you know. But, anyway, I just wanted, I, I had once wondering about that. I was wondering about that, you know. But for me, I would just, I would just play that shit off. Like, I don't care, you know? Go to parties, go to celebration, go to graduation, go to basketball games, you know, meet other people, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you have to have a party for your own self. And then as time go around, and you, you know, develop and grow, sometimes you feel like anybody else gonna come along. I remember one time I was in college, and I remember one time I had uh, I had met this person. And I was like, I wish they would ask me to lunch or something. I do my heart in my heart of hearts. I was like, oh, I wish they asked me to lunch, but I never told nobody that. I never told them, and they never asked me to lunch, and they never asked me to lunch. But I get asked to lunch all the time by educate it was a beautiful educated with black woman i ain't gonna lie she was very educated very beautiful and she never asked me nothing but my mind was just, i wish it with everything in my mind that she would ask me nothing. but you know how many times i get that from beautiful educated black women i'm still i'm not talking about no no hoe that want to bust down and want you to lick on and get an uh, orgasm right quick you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm serious that's how you meet a lot of bitches like that bitches want to orgasm right quick and, and think they're gonna buy you something I, I, but I'm talking about, I'm serious, I have been asked about some very beautiful, educated black women. So you feel like you're not going to meet nobody else. But, but just keep on enjoying life. Keep on enjoying life. I remember one time, this is a fluke, I remember one time I went to Walmart. And it was, because I guess if people need somebody to hang out for the holidays. Sometimes, you know. I swear. They had all the holiday stuff up. up. It was nice. It was real nice. They had all the holiday stuff up. And I swear, I swear, six men, six men asked me for a phone. I 
Mine line swag. Now, I don't know if it was just holiday season. They want somebody to chill with. And then one time I went to the gym. And the craziest shit happened. I'm serious. Every machine I got on, I bumped into some man. And I was like, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. And so, and they was all trying to be friendly. Like, I get attention. I ain't gonna lie, I get a lot of attention. You know, number here, number there. How you doing? What's up? You know, can we have lunch? Or, you know, something like that. But that I never got that much attention. I ain't lying. And, and this, and I, I was trying to get on this machine. And this real handsome dude accidentally touched it the same time I touched it. And I don't know what he was thinking. But it was like he was trying to figure out what to say next. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was good or bad, but but I just I didn't really never had that many men try to holler at me. I'm like, what kind of weird shit is this? You know what I'm saying? I remember once I went to the marathon. And I don't know if I looked at interesting or not. But this older guy. And you may say, why you want an old man to? Well, I just want to know why he wanted to be my friend. He wasn't old and decrepit. He was, a, he was, he was very fit and healthy. He was very fit and healthy man. Trying to talk to me. Sometimes you feel like you don't mean anyone. You know what I'm saying? But, but I feel like you wanted that person that bad. To be honest, you probably should ask the husband. I ain't trying to be funny, but they probably don't be bothered when nobody don't don't know how to move on. You know what I'm saying? They probably won't be bothered when nobody don't know how to move on. You he fucking with people, he fuck with you might say, Well, you know, um I, I I've met, you know, your wife, I wonder how you feel. We hook up, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about no nasty shit where everybody jump in the bed. I tell her where you and the wife hook up and you move on. But they, they don't want about to keep fucking with him, keep fucking with him, keep fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what to tell a person to do. You know what I'm saying? But time is going on. And they would like to put that shit behind them. You know what I'm saying? So, but but I mean, if it's possible, you know, at, at this stage in the game, to have a cup of coffee and chill. You know what I'm saying? Reminisce. And help the other person to get over. That person would want sympathy for somebody to be my friend. I would want us to actually have something in common. And that's why people don't like me. Because I always say some bullshit to make somebody laugh. I will say some bullshit to make somebody laugh. I will. I say some bullshit to make somebody laugh. And then the next thing you know, you know, they might see mine next time they see me. The next thing you know, they might say, well, sit down, see you have coffee every day at XYZ. I'm gonna come grab a cup with you. You know what I'm saying? I say that's why people don't like it. I would say, I would say some shit to anybody that would make their ass laugh. I will. But anyway, anyway, I hope that they get some closure on that. You have to have to fuck around. You have to go ahead, go ahead and fuck around. Shit, at this at this stage in the game, just tell the bitch, say, look, bitch, I see you want to fuck with me. Don't go crazy about it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I know you have one of that bad. Don't keep fucking with me, though. Don't keep on fucking with me, shit. I'm just trying to be nice and shit. Because I know you have one of that bad. But don't keep on fucking with me, because I don't really want to be bothered. 